Hello history fans, this week we are exploring Jedburgh Abbey, but it will be a slightly shorter tour than normal as the main building was fenced off when we visited in the summer. We will definitely be going back at some point to explore it more fully. Jedburgh is one of four great abbeys established in the Scottish borders in the 1100s. We will be covering a couple more of these great abbeys in future episodes, so I'll add links in the description for these once they have been published. David I of Scotland founded the Priory here in 1138 and raised it to Abbey status in 1154. However, Jedburgh had already been an important religious site for 300 years when the Augustinian Brethren arrived from Beauvais in France. David I wanted his new abbey to show his power and authority over the border region, land that was fiercely contested. The abbey still impresses today, almost 900 years later, despite war and weather. The cloister is mostly reduced to stone foundations, but the great abbey church of St Mary the Virgin still stands almost complete. The Augustinians contributed to royal governance, and their houses could sometimes be found near to royal power centres. Jedburgh Abbey served the royal castle at Jedburgh. In 1285, Alexander III and his new queen were married in the Abbey Church. Legend says that a ghostly figure appeared before the congregation and foretold the king's death. Alexander died the following year after falling from his horse. Due to Jedburgh's location on the border of England and Scotland, it was caught up in conflict between the two countries in the later Middle Ages. The canons had to evacuate the premises during the Wars of Independence in the 1300s. Jedburgh's demise was sealed by further attacks in the 1400s, raids in the 1500s and finally the Protestant Reformation in 1560. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you can be notified next time we upload a video. Bye for now!